Yo people, what's going on man? It's your boy George, back of another video on mine. Now today we're going to be breaking down Martin know the guy's build from top to bottom. Without wasting no more time, let's get straight into this one man. So for the playstyle plus, I've gone with incisive pass and technical. But for the standard playstyle, I've gone with press proven, ping pass, whip pass, flare, first touch and press proven and Travella. Moving on to his pace stats, not really worked on anything here to be honest. I don't think Odegaard's the quickest player, but he's not the slowest. But because I've used him as a right mid for this build, it helps you out a little bit in terms of balancing the acceleration and sprint speed stats. So shouldn't have to worry about applying any attributes. Now moving on to his shooting stats, got decent ball striking ability. He's known for the lace low driven shots from outside the box. He seems to master that technique, but unfortunately the long shots are not actually that high. Only at 83, shot power is not that good either. So I couldn't find a balance with the shooting stats, but finishing is also another area that I focus on as well. He often makes undetected runs inside the box, getting on the end of crosses. So um, I've decided to semi-max out finishing as well. Moving on to the passing stats, pretty self-explanatory, man. Arsenal's artist, he's got everything people in terms of being a playmaker, half space crossing, he's got that short pass, got that long pass, nice disguised balls in behind, the weight of pass is great, everything's great about Odegaard's playmaking ability, so do what you want on that man. Dribbling is another strong attribute in Odegaard's game. This is where I feel like if he was trying to make a case for Odegaard being better than De Bruyne, this is where you would look, is the dribbling stats. We're talking about pure balance, pure agility, working in tight spaces, spatial awareness, very nimble, very agile, can sell you with a body faint, uses step overs. Here is where he's elite in my opinion. So I'll try and max it out as much as possible. But he's not a fast star skiller, but he's a fast star dribbler, you might as well say. Now moving on to defending. Uh press as well. He's there for the counter press. Very aggressive. Good stamina. Can do this for the whole 90 minutes. So I'd work on his stamina. Fortunately, I couldn't really add any more defending traits or stats, I should say. Um, didn't have enough points, but it is what it is. But it's a very important part of Odegaard's game, especially in Arteta's system. Positions, positions. Now we move on to where do you actually play this guy with this build? Central attacking mid, or you could play him as a right centre mid. When you use him out on the right, it's important that you try and cut back in on his left, either to shoot or cross. Uh, since he has only freestyle weak foot. So you're not trying to use him on his right foot as much. In terms of how you play, well, he's a metronome for the team. Uh, he does come for the ball to receive it and try and help out in build-up play. So even if you have to come deep for the ball, even linking up with the CDM uh, just to get the ball and try and progress the play, then that's fine as well. So for me, centre attacking mid, right centre mid, the main options I'd go for. That's it for this video. If you've got any more suggestions, leave it in the comment section down below. If you also want your game analyzer and pro clubs, drop your gamer tag in the comments down below. One love. Take care. I'm out. See you soon.